Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Terra Firma Craft. I am Mr. Envelope, and today we're going to start things off over at the Subscriber Orchard because, surprise, surprise, more people want trees. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. Um, yeah, you guys are really awesome with that. You know, usually with smaller YouTubers and stuff, you kind of don't want to do the whole like, Hey, this is for my subscribers, and if they want something, I'll do it for them. I feel like that's usually, like, a, not the best idea, because uh, there's always the chance, with being a small YouTuber, that nobody's gonna really watch your series. <laughs> and then when you ask questions and stuff, like, nobody answers, and it's super awkward. At least for me. <laughs> um... Something me and, like, a bunch of my friends talk about, me and any germ, you know, we kind of bring it up, but, you know, they, they got different stories now. Those guys are, like, way out of my league. They're all growing, and I'm still the little guy, but on this series, you guys are killing it. Everybody is so nice. They actually answer my questions, especially, like, Eddie. Eddie and Travis. Those two are, like, always answering all my dumb questions. And everyone else, you know, everyone leaves great tips, but those guys are always on it. They're, like... Bam, you do it this way. Bam, you do it that way, you know. Uh, but anyways, what we're doing right now is we're trying to find... Lemon tree. Ha, found it. Uh, this is for... Dan Warren, who wanted a lemon tree. Jack Jones Green Apple Tree. And original usernames Plum Tree. There we go. Thank you guys for taking an interest to this series. It means a lot. It's like the only series where... I feel like I could talk to people. <laughs> Anyways, enough of that. Uh, but welcome back, guys. We are over here. I'm trying to get... Uh, this might be kind of a... I don't want to say a rushed episode, but I'm kind of in a hurry. Um, I dilly-dallied way too long before leaving for PAX. Um, I spent a lot of my free time playing Sea of Thieves. <laughs> and when I realized I had, like, no time to record... Or not no time, just very little... Uh, it's like two days before I have to go, so I'm trying to get this done. That's what I was doing with the dirt. I had dirt in my inventory when I logged on, and I put it away, because I'm dumb. Nine? And then we need ten. Okay. Uh, I was burning up a little bit more, what's it called? Fire bricks. Because today we are going to try to get some blast furnacing done. Haha. -ha. I'm very much looking forward to that. I grabbed that all right. There we go. Put... That's not how you do it. You need mortar. Mortar. Where'd you go? Also, I don't know where the rest of the fire bricks I made went. Nope. 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 Okay. So we're kind of in trouble. Where did I put that stuff? I know I had it. Also, we have so much charcoal now. I uh, harvested all the trees again. Uh, yeah, we're like completely full of it now. Not again. We're like completely full of charcoal, which is good because I think we need tons of it for the, the project, the thing. Um, where are these things? Here they are. Found them. All the way over here. Super far away. Anything in there? Nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. I should carry this on me and maybe one of those. Maybe some other day. I want this. Blast furnace. We need that. Uh, I think that's good. Let's grab this fire starter too. <laughs> okay, we're good now. So, what was I saying? We need mortar for this stuff. So, how much do I have? I have 10. That's enough to get started, but we're going to need more uh, if we want to do the full tier blast furnace. And uh, I didn't do any uh, metal working like I said I was going to do. I was going to make some more metal sheets, but I figure it might be a good idea to use this iron. What's this? Galena? Okay. It might be a good idea to use this iron for that. I think. Since we'll be able to process it a little differently. Um, I could be wrong. Where am I going? What am I trying to do? I think it's in here. We need... Yes. Mortar. I think I have mortar out there. Dang it. So what's the recipe for this? There we go. I forgot I could do that. <laughs> um... There we go. I was going to say something, but then I forgot. So let's just do this. There you go. It's not so bad. 26. I think I might have overdone it, but it's fine. It's fine. We'll do it. It's going to work. 
Uh, I gotta move some blocks around over here. Uh, don't think it's gonna work too well if we leave this here, but I don't really want to move this. I haven't planned this out too much. Uh, all I know is that I think this tree is gonna have to go. Um, ooh, this is gonna be kind of rough. I don't want to move this guy. I kind of like having that there, but I bet one of you guys will point out that it won't make much sense to keep this here anymore, this forge that we have in the crucible. Um, as I'm clearing this out, I'm starting to think it probably makes more sense to put it here. <laughs> uh, I think it'll make more sense to have our, our blast furnace right here where we have this bloomery. That's what it's called, right? The bloomery? Oh god, I can break that, right? Oh, I can. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to make a mistake. Um, cool. So, yeah, I think... Yeah, I th yeah, yeah. What do we do? I kind of want to keep everything that we have, you know, kind of like a trophy. Sort of like how I keep all the anvils and stuff. But... This is... This is tricky. Let's go ahead and put it over here. Maybe we can kind of have it mirror this. Um, put like a, bl uh, not the bloomery, the blast furnace on this side, like right here, you know? Uh, we can have more counter space over here and over here and over here. And then we can also have more storage because I got all this gold that I don't want to have in barrels anymore. Even though I kind of like having barrels just chilling around here. I think uh, it makes the place look funky. I think it'd look better if they were all the same kind of barrel, but it's good. It's good. Uh, so let's let's not work on the building part. I do want to spend an episode pretty soon just doing building stuff, uh, but not today. Oh yeah, let's not focus on building. I just said that. Um, instead, let's kind of just do a little bit of planning to see what we're gonna do. If I'm gonna mirror this perfectly, I don't I don't know if that's gonna look too hot. But let's check it out. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six blocks away until we have, I guess, where we would put the blast furnace. So one, two, three, four, five, six blocks away. Uh, and then when we go six blocks away from here, we go one, two, three. So there'll be three blocks, or three torches, and then boom, blast furnace. So one, two, three, and then it would be Boom, blast furnace. Do I want to do that? Oh, I really like these blocks. I know these aren't going to go here, by the way. They're uh, it's kind of just like a placeholder. Um, I think that could look okay. One thing I kind of want to do, too, is bring more of this cobblestone texture. Bring it out over here. Maybe use it as like a pathway sort of thing, too, because that is something I desperately need. I'm tired of parkouring my way over these little river streams <laughs> they're super nice streams but they're annoying to have to walk through uh okay so i think i'll go ahead and do that i think that's gonna look the best right uh it might not look the best but i think it's gonna be our best bet oh yeah one thing i gotta do too is make some another bellow saw bam uh we gotta get some leather from our tannery my tannery episode has so many views and I don't know why. Let's go like that, and boom, bellow. Okay, they don't stack. That's fine. Um, I'm kind of noivous. So I'm looking at the the wiki right now. I'm trying to do this uh, quickly so this episode doesn't drag on. I'm looking at the wiki, and I'm not quite sure. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna leave that real quick. <laughs> Sorry guys. What is this? This is andesite brick, right? It is andesite brick. This should be andesite brick as well. I'm pretty sure it is. So let's go grab some andesite brick. Um, even though we don't need to build a forge under it, I'm going to put a forge, or I'm gonna set up the, the crucible that I have to put down as a forge. That way, if I need to, I can use it as such. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll see soon. 
because I have to put down oh this is so tricky I have to put down um a crucible down I have to put down a crucible down <laughs> I have to put down a crucible and I want it to be uh, functionable as a forge as well so a forge requires whoops a forge requires I think bricks to be all around it so that has to be there and then we got to fill it up with charcoal nine pieces or eight one two three four five six seven eight nine okay eight take that out then we got to get our crucible i know i made an extra crucible i don't know why i broke that one. Oh yeah because i thought i was gonna move it but we're not so we're gonna put this down like that it's actually oh i guess that lip is always on that side can i no i cannot okay that's fine so we got the crucible here, then we have to put the blast furnace block. Okay, I guess we don't. Why? <laughs> what am I doing wrong? On the wiki, on the wiki, it says, or it doesn't say, but it has uh, two placeholder blocks. And then it has blast furnace on it let's put another placeholder right there and that is the formation there's supposed to be the blast furnace right there I don't get why it's not working I wonder if these need the sheets first that would that might make sense because in the the wiki tutorial paper thing paper <laughs> Uh, there, oh shit <laughs> it says or it's showing uh, putting down the black or the fire bricks first and then the sheet so let's try that Ho hopefully that'll work BAM okay so that should be good let me take this out in case it's interfering with the structure and hopefully this works oh it does oh it recognized it oh and check this out oh we need that two-year thing there we go wrought iron two-year I think that's how you say it BAM that is looking pretty good, except, you know what I'm thinking? We should lower this one block down. Yeah. I thought someone was here. Yeah, we should lower this one block down, because I don't want to have to look up. It's the little things, little conveniences in life that you'll thank yourself for later having to look up every time. That's just going to be a pain in the butt. Um, but yeah, that looks good. And we also, I think, need a way to get to the top. <laughs> Uh, we have to be able to where we have to be able to drop um, Charcoal and the iron from above like we have to do to the bloomery so Yeah, we're gonna have to build something for that, but it'll it'll make sense because we have this here um, The andesite structure bits so it shouldn't be too hard the <laughs> The demonstration they have on the wiki looks terrible. They just have like wooden plank blocks stacked up with a ladder on it, but I think that might be something we kind of have to do. We'll we'll see though. I'll worry. I'll focus on how it looks once we do the whole building bits. We might do that next episode. I just I got this itch to build. If you watch my single player world, uh, my latest single player world episode, you'll kind of see what I've been doing with all my free time. <laughs> uh, that and playing Sea of Thieves. I don't know if I want to upload Sea of Thieves because, you know, people kind of come to my channel for TFC. They don't really care about anything else I do. Uh, let me go ahead and move this down, um, and then we'll we'll try we'll try to give it a go. Okay, guys. So I think this is as tall as we can make it. I did my absolute best. No, I didn't. Uh, I just briefly went through this thing and kind of you know started to think about how we can make this thing look. Uh, I think. I'm saying think a lot. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to just make this thing super bulky if we want to have the ladder, which we kind of need. So you know, I we have to make it bulky is I guess what I should have said. Um, at least if we want it to look good, and I kind of do. And one thing that's kind of bugging me, I wish we didn't have to cover these fire bricks because they look really good. I'm really digging how those look. So. Might have to use them in some other build. Just go ahead and make a bunch. Uh, I also wanted to make a flint and steel because I want to see how much it, how long it lasts. Can I? I don't think that's how you do it. Is that? No. Is that? 
Is this where, like, the stuff goes? Oh, do I have to... Maybe? No, I don't think so. I'm trying to figure out, like, where things go. Because the Blast, for the blast Furnace has a GUI. I can't talk. The Blast Furnace has a GUI. The Crucible has a GUI. And even this uh, Forge down here has one, so... Can these all actually work together, or am I going to have to break the charcoal down there? I'm not sure, but let's go ahead and try this out. I'm lucky I caught myself earlier. I wasn't recording, and I tried to do this bit, and I'm glad I caught it before anything happened. But I know we need flux. <laughs> Sorry if I'm all over the place. I'm kind of excited, and I just want to get this done. Uh, I know we need flux, charcoal, and I brought some ore. I want to try to process some of the rich stuff. So... I don't know how this works because I'm looking at the GUI real quick. I'm going to try to do this on my own, but maybe with a little help. I'm looking at the wiki, not the GUI. I'm looking at the wiki and I'm not sure. Right click the blast furnace block with a flint and steel to activate it or a fire starter. Uh, the front of the blast furnace and the top of the chimney should both start to glow. All right, let's drop some that. Oh, look, it did that thing that it does. Huh. What am I missing? Charcoal? Flux? Oh, maybe maybe I overstepped my limit. Oh, right, because it's super small. Why would I... Ah, oh, dumb. He's so dumb. There you go. This should be fine, because the only active part of the blast furnace is where we have the sheets. Uh, it looks like everything's good. I mean, I, I filled it up. Oh, it turned on. Where's it go? I think it goes in here. I think one of you guys told me it goes down here. Uh, and then we need bellows to keep it hot, right? Oh, this is tricky. Do I, do I use that? It knows it has ore. Maybe it just needs to get hotter. Uh, I'm pretty sure iron melts around here. So we're kind of just playing the waiting game. How much did I use? I used four, four, and four. Aha. Uh -huh. That seems right. I believe it. It should be close to melting. Come on. Okay, so the charcoal dropped down a little bit. Uh, I'm wondering if I have to pop in a few more and I wonder if I have to turn on the um, The crucible like get that guy hot too, you know cuz this should be melted this ore should be melted already Let's go ahead and fill this fella up Let's turn him on there you go. I don't know why I'm calling it a dude. <laughs> That's fine. Um Oh, come on. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. I should put bellows on this side, too. On both of these. <laughs> that might be worth looking into. Did I take the bellow over here? I think I did. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. Let's go ahead and make two more. Let's... Yeah, let's make two more. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Did I say two? I meant three. Alright. Bellow. And bellow this guy's getting hot this guy still warm do I actually like gotta do something here no I don't think so that's fine what about down here anything happening nope I wonder too if the crucible does get hot enough if I have to do that right seems right right or maybe it just takes time I remember something on Ethos Let's Play. He built like it something took so long that he built a timer for it. He built a timer for the blast furnace. Um so maybe it just maybe it just takes time. Oh, nailed it. Okay, so that guy stays there. We got four accordions here now. Which is good. Do I need to keep putting in charcoal? And I'm wondering if I can make like a hopper and put that on top of it. And oh, I wonder if I can make a hopper.
copper clock. Um, like drop in some charcoal every so often, you know? I think that might be something to look into. I gotta make this shorter and break those blocks. Let's throw in some flux. I don't know if I need more flux. I know it's gonna take more charcoal, but did it take more flux? It did not. Okay, well this guy's still staying hot. We're not getting anything here. I'm gonna wait a little bit and see what happens. Maybe read a little bit more on the wiki. Uh, I'll be right back. Oh, guys, 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 I did it. I did something. I was reading the wiki and it didn't help very much. But it did make me think, like, you need your two-year. Or it pointed something out. It said you need your two-year here. Um, you need it to smelt anything. And you need it to make the bellows work. And I thought, well, that's weird. Why would... Why are the bellows so important? But then it hit me. You need to get this stuff super hot. You gotta get it really hot to melt the iron. And, I mean, that's kind of like a duh thing to say. <laughs> but, it also kind of makes sense. Because if you if you want it to like get liquid and stuff, you have to... What am I trying to say? You just gotta get it super hot. And that's what the bellows are for. They raise the temperature very quickly and higher than it normally can go. Um, with, you know, just burning the charcoal on its own. So you need the bellows to get it, like, super hot, and it, it all just makes sense now. I don't know if I explained it right, but my thought process was you need the bellows to get this super hot so the ore will actually melt and turn to liquid, and then the liquid drops down into the crucible. And now we have pig iron. I don't know if that's different from... Can I... No, I cannot. I don't know if that's different from regular iron. I don't think it is, but it might be. Let's take a look. Orange, bright, red, very hot. This is different. I think we made steel. What's this? Uses. High carbon steel. Oh, I have to process this, so I shouldn't have... Okay, let's put that down real quick. Let's go try with the next one. Um, this is good! Because I hate working with this large quantity. Um... Anything like extra left over will just get sent down here, and I'm pretty sure I can heat it up enough to melt it Because yeah, see it's it's hot enough to melt that is Awesome, and this is how we get steel and stuff. This is what you guys were trying to tell me This wasn't so bad. I actually kind of enjoy this Man you think Oh, that is something pretty special about TFC. There are so many different ways to... Why is it not burning? It's not hot enough? Why? Why did you get hot? There's charcoal in you. Oh, I need to light you! There you go. Um, You know, there's one way to process metal. When you start out, you're making your pit kilns, you know? I thought that was just the coolest thing ever. That's what made me want to, like, try Terra Firma Craft in the first place. The whole pit kiln thing. Like, having to shape the tool head you want out of the clay oh super neat and then when i when i first tried to do the the forge i thought that was really cool too i'm like cool i can what's the forge for <laughs> i forget there was something you had to do with the forge really neat and then with the crucible you just plop some stuff in as they get hot you know that's what it's for the crucible and the forge um you know you just plop everything into like a little bucket and it catches it all that was pretty cool too. I didn't enjoy that as much. It just felt like a really long time. Um, but then the blast burn or the bloomery, that guy was pretty interesting. It's more, you know, similar to this, but this one, the blast furnace, that is, this is the best thing ever. Super cool. I'm really enjoying myself with this. Are you melting? Melt, melt please. Almost out of charcoal. I think we might need to get more charcoal in there. That's what uh, the hiccup might be yeah let me go plop in some charcoal really quick that might be what happened i'm not entirely certain on how this uh works i'm glad i can jump in there and grab it i'm not entirely certain how this works but i think i'm getting somewhere okay it's not melting Maybe there's still like a time delay that you have to do. How much is in there? 40? Go, go, go. And you can only put four um, ores in here in each layer at a time. So 
the higher you go, you know, you can add slightly more, but uh, with the one we have, we can only add four. Four different ores, and that could be any size. The small ones, which are 10, the poor, which are 15, or the 25, or the 35. That's all we got right now. Does this need to be hot, too? That might be something I was onto, you know? Something that made sense. Hey. There we go. Okay, the ore is going down. Ore is going down. Come on, I need you to go down just that little bit more. There we go, perfect. So it all goes down here. This fills up. We got 80 left in there. That's fine by me. Um, gonna leave that burning because. Okay, let's let's turn this off completely. Like, like my staircase. <laughs> uh, let's get all that out of there. I know it's a waste of charcoal, but you know, well, let's just deal with it. Uh, take a drink. Perfect. Eat some sandwich. Even better. Okay. Um, no, not there. What am I doing? So, I want to get this... I don't know when I can take it out of the fella. That's still brilliant white. That's still brilliant white. Why is it... Oh, okay. Can I take it out now? I can. Danger. This is a danger. Oh, we did it! Do I have to process it again? There's a big chance I do. <gasps> steel! We did it! Oh my god. And we can do so much with steel! Like make tools? No. <laughs> That's kind of a given. But there's um something we can actually do with this stuff. What's this? Unshaped weak steel. Ooh. With nickel and black bronze how do we make that gold copper and silver i don't think i have silver uh but there's something we can do with this stuff it's pretty nice something i've recently looked into you might have been able to see it okay maybe it's not going to show up here um these chests we need all oh, right because we need a sheet so that's two ingots uh we can make these uh fancy chests and stuff with uh gems that we get from just caving around and stuff uh, and I'm pretty sure that they'll work the same as they do in other mod packs and stuff. These are going to have like a lot more storage space, which will be pretty nice. Uh, we might even be able to put ingots in them, which will be very helpful. Uh, but who knows? I'm still not certain. <laughs> um, but that is cool. We got our first steel ingot. Oh, I wish we got an achievement for that. That was pretty... Can I not put this down? Oh, it's too hot. I was going to say, no, they're broken. There we go. So we got iron, pig iron, and steel. There we go. <laughs> That's what it's called. That is so cool. I am so happy. Oh, man. I wish this looked better so this, the thumbnail would look nice. <laughs> oh, well. What can you do? But uh, anyways, guys, I'm really sorry to cut it short if it's short. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. I'm going to have to go because I want to try to record a little bit more uh, for another episode. And, you know, this one doesn't need to be super long. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave me any tips or suggestions you have for how this looks. Uh, how I should personally operate it. Because I'm pretty sure I wasn't that efficient. Um, I don't know if we need all these bellows. Just leave any tips that you guys have. Because I appreciate those a bunch. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you, whoops, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.